my picks for week two of the NFL season, beginning with the opener between the Raiders and the Saints. The Saints will defeat the Raiders in Raider fashion, in a way fashion, in Raider fashion, the Saints are going to invade the Death Star, but the Raiders are going to lose at home for the first time, which may leave Buffalo as the first team to uh, lose to the Raiders at home. So the Oakland Raiders are going to get are going to lose against the Saints. The New England Patriots and Cam Newton are going to defeat the Seattle Seahawks. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it all season. Cam Newton is undefeated with the Patriots. Cam Newton and the Patriots, the first game that they lose post Tom Brady is going to actually occur against the Vegas Raiders. That's what's going to happen. Cam Newton, he is on his way to 56 losses before facing the Vegas Raiders, where he would lose his 57th game. And let's check Cam Newton's record against the Seattle Seahawks in his career. He played a playoff game against them, 1-5, 1-6. I'm liking a 2-6 against the Seattle Seahawks. Cam Newton gets the victory against Russell Wilson. And then we go to Russell Wilson. What is the record for Russell Wilson? 42nd loss to the Patriots. 87 wins. Glendale, Sumatra, 87. He defeated the Patriots in the Super Bowl. But the Patriots are going to... He lost the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Russell Wilson's going to lose to the Patriots again. The Patriots and Bill Belichick get the win on prime time. Indianapolis Colts get the win against the Minnesota Vikings. Indianapolis gets the win. Kirk Cousins is going to lose again. The Minnesota Vikings secondary is going to get torched by Phillip Rivers. Then maybe they get their first win against the AFC South, but not against the Indianapolis Colts. Maybe on the day of the Jesuit Order's birthday, the Vikings defeat the Tennessee Titans or the, the Minnesota Vikings and, you know, the George Floyd shooting. Mm, George Floyd was born at Houston. That may be when their first win is going to be. I've got the Indianapolis Colts winning that game. Lock of the week is the Ravens over the Texans. The second lock of the week is the 49ers over the Jets. The third lock of the week is the Buccaneers over the Panthers. Pittsburgh Steelers are going to defeat the Denver Broncos. The Broncos are going to win tonight. Titans are going to win. Lions are going to lose because they're hot garbage. Okay, they're going to lose. Both the Saints and the Packers undefeated before the Sunday night football game. The Bills are going to crumble the Miami Dolphins. When is Tua going to come in? When is Tua going to come in? Oh, yeah, Patrick Mahomes is going to win again, by the way. Dwayne Askins. Washington football team against the Cardinals. Cardinals get the win again. Washington football team, what were their drives? Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. The big, bad NFC West. It ain't happening. Ron Rivera, his 68th loss to the team. That's going to win the championship, the Arizona Cardinals. That's right. The Arizona Cardinals are going to start 4-0 this year. The Arizona Cardinals... Have already defeated the 49ers. I'm going to take the Cardinals with the points. Double digits. Blowout. Win, win, win. They're winning their first five games before taking on the Dallas Cowboys. I like the Cardinals to lose against the Dallas Cowboys for their first loss of the season. You guys. Oh, Cardinals are 6 and 10. <laughs> well, guess what? Black Lives Matter, number one. Number two, Larry Fitzgerald, the GOAT. Number three, Defensive Player of the Year, Chandler Jones, Pro Bowl safety. All these bad ballers, DeAndre, DeAndre Hopkins, Larry Fitz. This team is magic. This quarterback is magic. Garbage Panthers, garbage Lions, garbage Jets. NFL loves the Cardinals this year. Deal with it. Deal with it, man. Black Lives Matter. There's only three teams I can win. The Cardinals, the Chiefs. In the Ravens. That's it. And this week is easy. Oh yeah, the shooting at Atlanta. Okay, Dallas is winning that game. 
Dallas is winning that game. 9-22-11-15 numerology. 15 is the numerology of ooh, Atlanta, but mm, Texas. Mike McCarthy and the black quarterback, Dak Prescott, get their first win at Georgia where we had the shooting of the black runner. So Dak Prescott and the Cowboys get the first win over where the shooting occurred at Atlanta. The racist bigot who shot him the Falcons lose their first two games to black quarterbacks Wilson and Prescott. Eagles Carson Wentz gets his revenge. He defeats the Rams for his injury. Okay, that's what's happening. The New York Giants going to beat the Chicago Bears. They're going to beat the Chicago Bears. They're beating the Bears. They're beating the trash. They beat the Lions. Giants 1-1, one one. New York, the 11th state, New York Giants win over the Bears. And then this leaves us with the Titans winning, right? The Slackers winning. And then this is the toughest call of the week, I believe. The Cincinnati Bengals and the Cleveland Browns, this is the toughest game. The call, this is why this game is last on the list. I remember Baker Mayfield's first win came on a Thursday. What if, what if... What if the Cleveland Browns lose on that Thursday? What if they lose? What if they lose to Joe Burrow? I mean, the Cleveland Browns can lose their first three games of the year. And then face off against Washington. I mean, this was 38-6. This is a 32-point differential that they lost by. I'm going with 33 against the Tigers. Tigers, right? Tigers, and then we have Cleveland. So I'm picking Joe Burrow and the Bengals Thursday night. These are all my week two selections, man. NFL, man, I'm so excited about that. I got the got the little high pitch, you know, Jeff Van Gundy voice right now. I have no idea why, but I'm so pumped up for the NFL season and all of these riddles that we can try to solve.